Today's thought is don't see others doing better than you. Beat your own records every day because success is a fight between you and yourself. I repeat it again. Don't see others doing better than you. Beat your own records every day because success is a fight between you or yourself. Good morning everyone. Welcome back. I hope all of you are safe and fit at home studying well and completing your work on time this video is for the students of class 8 subject english and today in this video we are going to cover one chapter of our main course book that is honeydew this is our chapter number 3 and the name of the chapter is glimpses of the past it is written by the famous writer s d savant This is my lecture number 2 of the same chapter and this chapter is taken from Honeydew book Students today in this video we are going to read rest of the chapter along with detailed summary and word meanings After then we shall discuss the homework solution of the homework which was assigned you in lecture number 1 of chapter 3 glimpses of the past Let us know what are the objectives of the chapter. Number 1 to enable the students to understand the british reign in india. Number 2 the learner gets the knowledge about some freedom fighters from the given text. Number 3 to enable the students to write the events in order. Number 4 the learner gets the knowledge to narrate the events in chronological order number 5 the learner feels the love and respect for the country and patriots so these were the objectives of the chapter let us see the key points of the rest chapter number 1 many learned men gathered and together the people of india and told them to against the british raj here learned men means sensible men number 2 in 1857 a revolt outbroke and the consequence of the revolt paved the way to the first freedom fight against british rule in india paved means covered with a firm surface So these were the key points of rest chapter. So now let us read the rest chapter along with detailed summary and word meanings to know in detail. This status fiction from 1835 to 1856. This is the scene when Lord Macaulay was talking with his friend education in india was in persian and sanskrit in 1835 a english man named macaulay suggested a change he said we should teach the natives through the english language his friend said i concur means we have to change the people's language to change their mindsets or we can say that in 1835 Lord Macaulay suggested bringing changes in the education system of India. They tried to replace with the English language because they realized that they need Indians to do the petty job for them. Or we can say that in 1835 Lord Macaulay suggested that the medium of education in India should be English. the proposal was carried the aim was to produce an army of clerks to assist the british this is the scene when leaders were talking with each other english education produced clerks to whom the british gave petty jobs petty means a little under them incidentally it also produced a new generation of intellectuals we must educate our brothers and 
try to improve their material conditions. For that, we must convey our grievances to the British Parliament. Or we can say that as a result of it, conscientious intellectual class emerged and wanted education for fellow countrymen. They were also aware of the pathetic condition, so they felt the need of represent the reality before the rulers. It happened but it also produced a new generation of intellectuals. Intellectuals means clear and smart. Some of them tried to educate the masses. Masses means a group of ordinary people. Some decided to convey the grievances. Grievances means complaint of the people to the British Parliament. By 1856, the British had conquered the whole of India. Means, it was 1856 when Britishers conquered, means overcome by force, the whole of India. Indian society was at its lowest. Jobs, lands, religions, pursuing one's faith, all these were snatched by them. Means, by 1856, the British were ruling the whole of India. This is the scene when people were talking with each other in the village about the British. But they cared little about the needs of Indians and lands. They are converting our brothers. Our kings have become puppets and we have lost our jobs and families. You only talk, do something to drive them out. Means, now they cared little about Indians' needs. This dissatisfaction in the public began to grow. People wanted to get rid of the British. Number 7, the sparks from 1855 to 1857. Texas continued to ruin the peasants. Peasants means farmer. In Bengal, for example, the Santhals, who had lost their lands under new land rules, became desperate. And in 1855, they rose in rebellion and massacred Europeans and their supporters alike. Means, the spark talks about an era when the peasant means farmers lost their patience they had to pay heavy taxes and were devoid of land in 1855 the santhals felt oppressed because of new land rules they massacred europeans and their supporters or we can say under the new rules santhals means east indians had become desperate in 1855 they rose in rebellions. Rebellion means armed resistance to government or leader and killed the Europeans and their servants alike. This is a scene of a conversation. Discontent was also brewing among the Indian sepoys in the East India Company's army. The white soldiers get huge pay mentions to live in and servants. While we get a pittance means very small amount of money and slow promotions. The Angres ask us to cross the sea which is against our religion. Who is the Tupi Wala to abolish our age old customs means get rid of abolish means. We must drive out the Angres. Sepoy Mangal Pandey attacked the adjutant means officer of his regiment and was executed by hanging means they massacred Europeans and their supporters army men faced discrimination too in promotions and salary so they were getting disconcerted too they wanted to uproot the British rule the discontent means dissatisfaction was Brewing means happening in the East India Company's army too.
the sepoy mangal pande attacked the adjutant means his officer of his regiment means his military unit and he was executed means he was executed by hanging this is a scene of a battle thousands of sepoys revolted against this but they were stripped of their uniforms stripped means remove all covering form humiliated and put in irons irons means jail the uniforms of rebellious sepoys were stripped of disrespectfully thousands of sepoys revolted against this execution means order but they were fired from their duties dishonorably they were humiliated and sent to prison means jail this is the scene when villagers were talking to each other few englishmen cared to understand indian customs or the people's mind this also made much room for rumors o oh, proud brahmin and muslim soldiers do you know that the grease on the bullet you have to eat is made from the fat of cows and pigs brahmin said what muslim soldiers said the white man has deceived us too means hide the truth from us means the english did not care about indian customs only few englishmen cared to understand indian customs or people's mind this also made much room for rumors due to irrespective of caste or religions they means villagers decided to get united to take revenge from the british soon chapatis were sent from village to village to tell the people that their emperor would want their services a secret call to take to arms and rise in revolt against the firangi the head of the village said yes all my village man will be ready means they sent the message of rebellious attributes by sending chapatis and circulating lotus flowers or we can say chapatis were sent from village to village with them was the message that their native emperor would want their services similarly lotus flowers were circulated among indian sepoys dead to the foreigner the masses gave all help and shelter to this patriot sepoys and peasants means similarly the lotus flowers were circulated among indian soldiers emperor and patriots took steps to take revenge the masses also gave all help and support to them number 8 revolt 1857 this is the scene of a battle in 1857 there was a violent outbreak in meerut means the first freedom movement started in 1857 in meerut or we can say the revolt started at meerut this was the scene when the sepoys marched to delhi for revolt against the british the sepoys marched to delhi they said long live our emperor bahadur shah means britishers called it a unity unity means open war it took a violent turn in meerut then the fire of sepoy marched towards delhi under the urges it just means guidance of bahadur shah or we can say the sepoys who had revolted marched to delhi they were shouting slogans in favor of bahadur shah zafar to seek help the rebellion spread wider rebellion means a rebellion is a violent organized action by a large group of people who are trying to change their country's political system means the rebellion spread wider as the aggression in people crossed its limits this is the scene when landlord was talking with the villagers many landlords had lost their lands because 
of the British policies and they were sore means upset. One said the white man's rule must end. Landlord said yes we shall help you means the movement reached far and wide. Later landlords deprived of their lands also joined it to uproot the British Raj. Or we can say many landlords had lost their lands. They helped the revolt and motivated their people against the British. Number 9 The Fight for Freedom 1857 This is the scene when Begum Hazrat was thinking about her kingdom. Many former rules like Begum Hazrat Mehal of Lucknow were bitter. She said the white man has taken away my kingdom. They joined the upsurge. Upsurge means a sudden forceful flow against the foreigner. Means the fight for freedom also ignited means set up fire. The anguish means extreme mental distress of former rulers like Begum Hazrat whose estate was confiscated means taken away by Britishers. Many rulers like Hazrat Mahal of Lucknow were bitter. The English had taken away their kingdom. So they also joined the fight against the British rule. This is the scene when the famous leader Malvi Ahmadullah of Faisabad was encouraging common people to do revolt against the British. Popular leaders like Malvi Ahmadullah of Faisabad told the people, Rise brothers, rise. The Angrej is ruining our land. The people rose everywhere in Bareilly, Kanpur and Allahabad. Malvi Ahmadullah of Faisabad motivated the fellow countrymen to rage war against oppressors. Or we can say popular leaders like Malvi Ahmadullah of Faisabad urged means advised the common man to revolt. People of Bareilly, Kanpur and Allahabad got inspired and supported him. This is the scene when Azimullah Khan told Tatya Tope about his decision. We should have Peshwa Nana Sahib as our leader in this war of independence. Azimullah Khan told Tatya Tope. The patriots pounced upon the British and fought peaced battles all over North India. Patriots means one who loves or defends his or her country. Pounced means moved down on as if in an attack. Means Azimullah Khan told Tata Dopi to make Nana Sahib the leader of that war of independence. All over North India the people fought. Fought is a second form or past participle form of fight. Peaced battles. Each battles means large battles against the British. This is the scene of Kuwar Singh when he lost his wrist during the battle. 80 year old Kuwar Singh of Bihar received a bullet in his wrist. He said, Mother Ganga, this is my last offering to you. Or we can say, no wonder 80 years old Kuwar Singh of Bihar hit by a bullet in his wrist. He led his life for liberating his land. Or we can say 80 years old Kuwar Singh of Bihar received a bullet in his wrist. He just cut it off means his wrist. Throwing it means his wrist into the Ganga. He said that it means his wrist was his last offering to you means to Ganga. So, this is the end of the lecture or this is the end of the story. Children, you have to complete your homework on the basis of the chapter explained by me. 
and your homework is read chapter 3 that is glimpses of the past and write word meanings highlighted in the video. Based on the understanding of the chapter, write the answers of the questions mentioned in the book Honeydew as. Page number 45, comprehension check, question number 4. Page number 45, working with the text, question number 5 and 6. Page number 45 and 46, working with the language. Students, since you are not having your Honeydew book with you, so here in this video, I have mentioned your homework in detail. Comprehension check, question number 4. Which picture, according to you, reveals the first sparks of the fire of revolt? Working with the text. Question number 5. Name these people. Number 1. The ruler who fought pieced battles against the British and died fighting. Number 2. The person who wanted to reform the society. Number 3. The person who recommended the introduction of English education in India. Number 4. Two popular leaders who lead the revolt. Choices may vary. Question number 6. Mention the following. Two examples of social practices prevailing then. Number 2. Two oppressive policies of the British. Number 3. Two ways in which common people suffered. Number 4. Four reasons for the discontent that led to the 1857 War of Independence. Working with the language. In comics, what the characters speak is put in bubbles. This is direct narration. When we report what the characters speak, we use the method of indirect narration. Study these examples. First farmer, why are your men taking away the entire crop? Second farmer, your men have taken away everything. Officer, you are still in areas. If you don't pay tax next week, I will send you to the jail or to jail. The first farmer asked the officer why his men were taking away the entire crops. The second farmer said that their men had taken away everything. The officer replied that they were still in areas and warned them that if they didn't or did not pay tax the following week, he means the officer would send them, them means the farmers to jail. Question is, change the following sentences into indirect speech. First man, we must educate our brothers. Second man, and try to improve their material conditions. Third man, for that we must convey our grievances to the British Parliament. The first man said that dash a dash. The second man added that they dash b dash. The third man suggested that dash c dash. Second part, first soldier. The white soldier gets huge pay, mansions and servants. Second soldier, we get a pittance and slow promotions. Third soldier, who are the British to abolish our customs? The first soldier said that dash A dash. The second soldier remarked that dash B dash. The third soldier asked dash C dash. Students, remember one thing. You have to complete this exercise working with the language in your book only. If you don't have your book, then you have to 
do this exercise in your fear notebook now in this video we shall discuss the homework solution of the homework which was assigned you in lecture number 1 of chapter 3 glimpses of the past which is written by sd savant students we have already discussed summary introduction about author and word meanings of part 1 in lecture 1 of chapter 3 as i assigned you homework which was to be done by you on the basis of your understanding and your homework was read chapter 3 glimpses of the past and write word meanings highlighted in the video based on the understanding of the chapter write the answers of the questions mentioned in the book honeydew as page number 45 comprehension check question number 1 2 3 page number 45 working with the text question number 1 2 so let us discuss the word meanings of the chapter glimpses of the past of lecture 1 number 1 martyrs means who are killed because of their religious or other beliefs i repeat it again martyrs means who are killed because of their religious or other beliefs number 2 urged means encouraged i repeat it again urged means encouraged number 3 conquest conquest means victory i repeat it again conquest means victory number 4 short sighted means lack of imagination i repeat it again short sighted means lack of imagination number 5 subdue means bring under control i repeat it again subdue means bring under control number 6 preached means to give religious message i repeat it again preached means to give religious message number 7 scorned means reject in a contemptuous way i repeat it again scorned means reject in a contemptuous way number 8 abandon means to live a place i repeat it again abandon means to live a place number 9 arrears means money that is owned and should have been paid earlier i repeat it again arrears means money that is owned and should have been paid earlier number 10 cripple means destroy i repeat it again cripple means destroy number 11 despise means to feel strong dislike for someone or something i repeat it again despise means to feel strong dislike for someone or something number 12 inevitably means unavoidably i repeat it again inevitably means unavoidably number 13 o means obligation to repay i repeat it again o means obligation to repay 14th operation means unjust treatment i repeat it again operation means unjust treatment number 15 regulation means law or act i repeat it again regulation means law or act number 16 due means earning i repeat it again due means earning number 17 fortunes means a very large amount of money or property i repeat it again fortunes means a very large amount of money or property number 18 prospered means became financially successful i repeat it again prospered means became financially successful so these were the word meanings so let's discuss the questions and answers of chapter 3 the glimpses of the past comprehension check question number 1 look at picture 1 and recall the opening lines of the original song in hindi who is the singer who else do you see in this picture 
द आंसर ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इज द ओरिजिनल सॉन्ग इज ए मेरे वतन के लोगो द सिंगर इज लता मंगेशकर पंडित जवाहरलाल नेहरू लाल बहादुर शास्त्री इंदिरा गांधी बहादुर शाह जफर रानी लक्ष्मीबाई, लाल गंगाधर तिलक लाला लाजपत राय भगत सिंह सुभाष चंद्र बोस एंड महात्मा गांधी आर आल्सो सीन इन द पिक्चर क्वेश्चन नंबर टू इन पिक्चर टू वट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाय द कंपनीज सुपीरियर वेपन्स द आंसर ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इज द ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी कॉनकोड इंडियन बाय यूजिंग देयर सुपीरियर वेपन्स द गन्स एंड डिप्लोमेसी क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री हु इज एन आर्टिजन Why do you think the artisans suffered? According to picture number three, the answer of the question is: an artisan is a craftsman skilled in some trade. They suffered because the goods that they produced lost demand in the Indian market. Now let's discuss the questions of working with the text. Question number one is: Do you think the Indian princes were short-sighted in their approach to the events of 1757? The answer of the question is yes. The Indian princes were short-sighted in their approach. They fought against each other with the help of the British. Thus, the British became the virtual rulers. Question number two: How did the East India Company subdue the Indian princes? The answer of the question is: The East India Company spread their wings in India to promote their trade. They supported one Indian prince to finish the other. As a result, power passed on to their hands. Question number three: Quote the words used by Ram Mohan Roy to say that every religion teaches the same principles. The answer of the question is: The words of Ram Mohan Roy spoken to his wife were, "Cows are of different colors, but the color of their milk is the same. Different teachers have different opinions, but." The essence of every religion is the same. Question number four is: In what ways did the British officers exploit Indians? The answer of the question is: Number one, to earn quick profits, the British imposed heavy taxes, thereby forcing the Indian farmers to abandon their fields. Number two. They decided to do away what import duty on goods manufactured in England and sold in India. This crippled the Indian industries. Number three, in eighteen eighteen, they passed Regulation Three, under which an Indian could be jailed without trial in a court. Number four. All the time, British officers in India drew big salaries and also made fortunes in private business. By 1829, Britain was exporting British goods worth seven crore rupees to India. The British prospered on the company's loot, while the Indian industries began to die. So. This is the end of the lecture. At last, I would like to say that complete your work in neat and clean handwriting in your fair notebook by following the correct format. Students, if you like our videos, then hit on the like button and 
डोंट फोर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल थैंक यू एंड हैव अ नाइस डे